Good morning all. 5th of January 2016. That's my train heading back from Hohat to Beijing. And uh, we should get there in about an hour and 20 minutes or so. I had a beautiful sleep hence I haven't slept for about three days on a trot. Been going from climates of uh, minus 16 to plus 8 to plus 16 to minus 1 to minus 16 to minus 28. And then, uh, yeah, and then I've increased the temperatures again. It's going from minus 5 and it's going to creep up to about minus 1 again in Beijing. And there will be um, further south, that's going to be about in Shanghai, minus 16 or minus 18. So, all in all, fabulous journey. Lots of engagements with humans, uh, who I learned so much from, more than that I be able to exchange anything of my own understanding. I tend to shut up listen to what the locals had to say what their set of current days of values are going to be and then be part of their understanding and learn it from them and share it amongst what it is and i made a group of beautiful kids from western section of um, i should say of uh, inner mongolia and they were enthusiastic kids and that enthusiasm goes right the way along and I shared the greatest value of their minority group of the autonomous region of Inner Mongolia where by the children um, are enthusiastic as the teachers are to try and protect their integral part of way of life that has slowly been fading away since the integral or integration of um, uh, the the mass populations from eastern seaboard of here in China and the city has been fastly developed hence the um, the way of life is completely been changed and altered the village suburban and urban population is brought into more urban um, and city center um, I would say city center type of living with high-rise apartments and high-rise buildings with modern methods of living and that will take about one or two generations before it can be turned into um, be the way of life and hence much of the life will be uh, the city dwells rather than the uh, urban or um, rural or village type living um, I don't know it's, if it's a good or if it's a bad, but that's how we have uh, evolved as humans to try and upgrade our standard of living to a much better and a greater status of life. And in doing so, we mustn't break down the, um, the traditions, um, the way of life, they call it the culture, the behavior. Well, the behavior can be changed um, slowly with um, where every culture is related to a behavior of that local environment and their outlook of the world as you can see a beautiful bright sunny day is ahead of us but it's, it's crispy cold out there biting into your skin and uh, that makes it um, really um, interesting when you're out there to feel the nature's elements um, in its um, own um, own environment now having said that yes a lot of these houses have been upgraded they have been uh, hashed out and then redeveloped as you can see just about here and these houses are possibly in the last 10 or 15 years they look already tired uh, compared to what was old old times uh, where the traditions the art 
the sculptures, the, uh, all of that uh, lasted for a very long time. What you can see now is people trying to use um, solar energy, uh, other means of renewable energy to power up their need for electricity, their need for um, um, their need for energy and other sources of uh, a daily usage when it comes for their phones, their televisions, their refrigerators, all of those modern style living requires lots of energy and to produce that energy we need to actually come up with smarter, more intelligent ideas yet to do that and bring about almost a billion and a half population, almost one-seventh of the world's population um, to enjoy all those benefits we need to be smarter yes those uh, solar panels and uh, hydroelectricity are means of um, generating that required energy but that can't uh, sustain for a very long time unless we come up with even smarter uh, smarter type of um, energy renewable energy Having said that, that's a small little um, train station for commuter lines and uh, along the way people are waking up slowly and um, they're coming about getting ready for a, another glorious day here, on, uh, here in China and uh, the landscape has slowly changed from uh, more rugged rocky terrain to more softer soil rock uh, arid sort of land and uh, upgrading the infrastructure in this country is a, a great task in terms of uh, when you look at that, the uh, the the natural or the nature itself it's a lot of hashing out cutting through tunnels and so on and so forth as we are talking about we are straight into a tunnel just now so yeah folk it's going to be a a, a great understanding uh, about the way of life here in china not just here in china but the wider world that we're going to find out um, what is possible for us to all upgrade to a standard of living um, by not harming the environment and, uh, and harming each other for that matter. We need to have come up with lots of food and uh, lots of um, renewable energy and technology to try and preserve our way of life.